Hey, what's up everyone? It's Samad over at Funnel Marketer and doing a quick little solo video here on uh, HubSpot dashboards. I know it's probably not something that most people know too much about or, you know, obviously the, you know, the certified HubSpot guys out there, you know, and shout out to anyone that utilizes HubSpot, you know, knows how, how great these, you know, dashboards really are. Um, but just wanted to kind of go into the benefits of, you know, why you should really have a dashboard. It doesn't matter if you're in marketing, if you're in, you know, if you're in sales, um, man, even in just operations, right? Like it, it it's beneficial all around, um, which is what's great about it. And yeah, I just wanted to, you know, actually just dive right into it. So I'm going to actually go in and show you guys what I would do and, you know, what, is really kind of cool um, specifically. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys what we have on HubSpot that you can work with and how do you amplify? Like, how do you actually get rid of the rut of, you know, reporting to your higher ups, reporting to clients, reporting to whoever on um, KPIs, right? Like on, on any data points that you need to, you know, kind of measure yourself off of. So, you know, by all means, we're, we're just going to go ahead and get started. So first things first, we are at HubSpot, right? And obviously, uh, you know, HubSpot is, there's not really an obvious on this because a lot of people don't know uh, the benefits of HubSpot. Some people see it really as just a marketing tool. Some people are um, only really seeing it as like a CRM. So they're, they're, they're kind of putting it you know, compared to uh, a Salesforce, if you will, um, and say, oh, well, it's probably just a lighter version of a Salesforce. So I like to look at, you know, HubSpot in a different way altogether. It's, it's really a CRM and a marketing amplifier. So like it, you know, for anyone in the marketing world, like HubSpot is a great element to, you know, really go and, and do some research on and, and really utilize mainly because it ties in so well into everything we talk about in the marketing world, right? So um, SEO, blogging, content, email newsletters, email blasts, doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a newsletter. It could be, you know, uh, a sales letter. Um, all of that's all kind of taken care of. It also has the social calendars as well. So if you wanted to keep consistently posting organically um, or at least do the planning of it because you're, you know, in the, in the camp of, you know, it's better to actually be on each platform. And I, I'm actually one of those guys as well. I'd, I'd rather go right into Facebook and do all the posting there because, you know, there's, there's, you know, a lot of de different data points on reach and, you know, going to social media and going to each channel is, is better than, you know, using any kind of tool. So from our planning perspective, HubSpot's great. And that's really the main, main focal point here. So we're going to go into one of our HubSpot accounts here and show you a couple of different dashboards here. And you, know, you can get really down and dirty. You can have some fun with this. So in this case, these guys actually start off on this homepage, right? Like when you log into HubSpot, you have traffic and contacts. So we have our traffic and contact dashboard here. And if you hit manage dashboards, you can literally create anything, right? Which is really what's cool about this. So we'll go into marketing first because hey, we're a funnel marketer and that kind of makes sense. Um, but after that, I'm going to go in right into e-com. Then I'll go into sales. And we're just going to walk you through a couple of these different elements here that you know, are, are really beneficial to just like, you know, really review, see all the different data points and, and just, you know, see how quick and down and dirty this is going to be. So we're going to want to, let's just go ahead and create a whole new one, right? We're going to create a lead generation dashboard for these. Um, and then maybe what I'll also do is the marketing channel performance. So those are the two dashboards that I'm going to, you know, work with with you guys today and, you know, making sure that you guys all get it and then we'll move on. So, you know, with lead generation, what HubSpot does is because it already has all the data points, right? It's got all of the emails coming in, the social, and it also has got 
um, the CRM component, you, you can get really nitty gritty with this, which is really, really very, very beneficial. So in this case, I, I recommend because, you know, you're here to show your worth and you're looking at, you know, how much value you've actually brought to, you know, your company, your agency, your team, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but so in this case, the main first checkbox here that, you know, they're, they'll have automatically default, you know, default here actually automatically have all these checked off, but contacts created, I think is a good one and new contacts by source is extremely important because you can see what, you know, marketing channels are working for you and what are not. So we're going to hit next and we're going to keep the lead generation name for the dashboard here and say that it's available for everyone. Remember, dashboards are your best friend because you don't need to go and create a report and, you know, stop your whole workflow to show your work, if you will, right? Like, you know, to do the reviewing with, you know, your higher ups, your boss, your clients, it doesn't matter. Um, tell them to go look at a dashboard. It, it doesn't hurt at all. Like, you know, it's not going to hurt their feelings. It shouldn't. It's actually saving them time too. And it's going to be way more just consistent. So, you know, it, you're, you're going to want to do better with it. You don't have to go like in hindsight, look at, you know, oh man, I got to go and every month go create a new report and I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to go procrastinate. I'm going to go do all that. Let's just forget all of it. Right. So we're going to create the dashboard here. And so you can see that this is the lead generation one and automatically it's already, you know, giving you some data here, which is really cool. So you can do a, a data range or a date range here. You can go into this and refresh. You can remove it. You can move it anywhere else. Um, you can do a lot with it. So, and then this is your sort here. So in this case, we can filter it. We can change that to um, even a 60 day. And we can do a comparison to your previous 60 day. Um, that way we can get really yeah, show what's actually better, right? So let's let's do that. I think that's actually a good way to grade anyone. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that. If you want to add filters, you could. And yeah, the sky's the limit, right? So first conversion, um, last activity, last contacted, um, where they are in the sequence, where they are in workflows, I know some of this stuff might be things that you don't really have actually all set up yet for HubSpot. So you don't need to go into every single element here, but yeah, there might be something here that's really relevant, like, you know, become a lead date or stage, you know, what stage they're in. That's a, that's a, that's an easy one. Remember the CRM is always free on HubSpot. So if you use the CRM first, don't even look at all the paid stuff that HubSpot gives you you can at least just get these dashboards created. And that's that's the beauty of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the add a lifestone, life cycle stage. I'm sorry, not life cycle stage, not a lifestone. <laughs> and we're gonna go into lead marketing um, opportunity. I might just keep it as those three just so there's not too much information here. And then we'll save that. So you can see in this case, and I might even change the frequency to, yeah, I think I think weekly actually makes sense. So we'll keep that, but you can change that any way you want. And so you can see once you, you know, go into the contacts created and really see that, you know, things are, are looking pretty solid and, you know, these past few weeks, which is great. Um, you can see that there must've been something that caused these numbers to go increase like that. So that's, that's that's huge. Let's keep that for the top. Most people, you know, that, that aren't really hundred percent, you know, sure what they're looking at or, or really have other things to do. so they don't really want to go into every little nitty gritty. This is probably the most important part. So again, what's great about this, is you can move this anywhere you want. And then new contacts by source. In this case, you can see that paid social is doing a lot. We're at 116 there. So that's great. That's awesome. And you have, other channels really easily available to you here. So let's just say I want to click and see all the names of those paid social guys. 
this case, there's 116. That's looking pretty solid. So there you go. You can export this. You can save it as a report. Um, or you can just come right here real quick and say, you know, and someone asked you how many you got, like 116. It's that quick. You don't have to go hunt it down on analytics or go into Facebook and look at conversions there. HubSpot's doing it all for you. So that's, that's the beauty of it. Um, in this case, you know, you got even paid search, you got direct traffic, you got a lot to, you know, play off of here. So, and this again is the date range of the last 30 days. If you want to keep it just all, you know, consistent, you can actually go ahead and shift that again. Remember, don't hit that button that I just did. That's just for refreshing or cloning, but make it a 60. So last 60 days. And there you go. Save that and you're done. And so, yeah, you can see that, yeah, this will match that in terms of date ranges. Marketing qualify leads by original source. Now it's gonna say that nothing's showing there because these guys are not utilizing that stage. So, yeah, what's great about that is you can, yeah, just really quickly remove it. And in this case, in terms of they're not using that either, right? So remove that. And then first interaction. In this case, again, we're not using that. So now we can just move that up here and you're good. And you can see which ads are doing, what pages are doing. Kind of a good one to see. I actually like to having that one. In this case, again, there's not any data coming here. So we're gonna remove that. And so you can see activity and what pages they've seen. That could be useful. I don't think it's the next most important thing though. So it might not be what we wanna keep there, right? So let's, let's look at that and suggest moving it. You can actually move it around from one dashboard to another. So in this case, I'm not going to do that one, but I'll just move that here. On top of, you know, just seeing what they actually got. So you can see here again, this is where we kind of left off and this is useful, but it might not be the most useful, right? Like it, it, it's, it's a lot of information. It might be too much that makes it a little like, less digestible. So these two are really solid. I think I like those. I want to add another one before I decide I want to remove this. So I'm going to go ahead and again, just move that up. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm on full screen. So causes a little bit of difficulty, but not too much. There we go. So there. All right, and then, so if you wanna add something else, we're gonna to go to add report, and let's just go to the library and see what actually HubSpot has to offer, right? So in this case, add impressions by social network. Pretty good piece to know, add clicks by social network. Should be a good one to also see, in this case, impressions don't matter as much. I wanna have the add clicks. So I'm gonna add that into the lead generation, give it a name and um, add, well, we'll call it add, add clicks. So save that. And there you go. It's added, which is great. So attributed contacts by a social network might not be the most relevant. This is important though, because you can see what's being spent and see where the cost per click is. I'm going to go ahead and add that one too. Cost per click by campaign, save and add, bam, we're done. Um, and then add campaigns with cost per contact. This is a cost per click. This is a cost per contact. So in most people's cases, you wanna know this number more than the other one, right? Like this one here is a number that we wanna improve. These are good numbers, but this one, isn't, but 
that you have to always take all this stuff with a grain of salt, right? Because this is a Google ads and those are probably hotter people um, because they're, they're ready to do something. They came to look for this particular need and this is why they're, they're specifically using this, right? Like they're using Google ads. They know what they're searching for. They're going to want to talk a little bit more business. So I, I actually think that's a good one to have. Let's add that. And we'll call this some um, costs per acquisition. There you go. That's added. And it's just as easy as that. You, you got a pretty cool looking, let's go back and just see how it looks. Yeah, so you can kind of see that it looks like that. Unfortunately, I should have added one more. Um, mainly because now there's one extra space. So what we can do is either just move that in the middle or expand it, which is kind of cool. So you got a lot of place to work here, which is kind of really nice. So there you go. Yeah, this is a, a really solid looking dashboard that you, know, you can consistently use now. And that's way easier than creating a report. Remember that you do this once, you're always going to be set up. And beauty of HubSpot is, again, as long as you're using your contacts and you have all your pixels all connected, you're, you're actually set. Let me know your thoughts on the marketing one and I will move towards a sales one.